Hey guys, it is Saints fan, and if you did not know, today two of the eight unreleased vehicles were released. One being the BF Raptor. Its price point right here, six hundred forty-eight thousand dollars. You are gonna buy it from the legendary Motorsport website. And the other vehicle was the Western Damon, and it's gonna run you a hundred forty-five thousand. Now, in this video, I'll just go over all the customization so you can see if these two vehicles are worth it now on the raptor there is almost no customization on this vehicle apart from the respray option however it's unlike the chimera the other three-wheeled vehicle because this one has a wheel category so you can change the wheel color the wheel type and you can even put bulletproof tires on if you so choose but you can see they actually only affect the front the back wheel does not change as for that respray option you do have two colors you have the primary which is the the main part of the car and then i don't have it unlocked unfortunately and then you have the secondary color and this is the little stripe part in the middle so is this car worth it for six hundred forty eight thousand dollars on terms of customization, probably not. And it is in the sports category. I don't know if you saw when we went in, but once we get out, I'll show, I'll hit down on the D-pad and you can see it's in the sports category. So it's not, it, it, it's gonna be compared against other cars that are most probably much faster. Now, I haven't done any speed testing just yet. I will do that later on today and let you guys know, but this car might be one of those that you get simply based off of the uniqueness of it because it's a three-wheel vehicle one other thing that kind of note it does have a little bit of a clipping issue i don't know if, if you can see that well sort of where the the steering wheel is and i can't really go into first person to show you guys because i can't look down but the steering wheel actually clips through with some of the pants All right, so as you just saw, it it actually it feels like it has the handling of of the, some of the ATVs, which if you hit like one little bump or something the wrong way, you're gonna go spinning out. So that's another thing that if you don't like that feature about some of the ATVs and even the Chimera that happens to it, then you, this car might not be for you. As for the interior, if you were curious as to what it looked like, here is it. I mean, it's not bad. You know, it's it's pretty cool looking, but. I think overall this is one of those cars that you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. Now the Western Damon here, you can see actually as I sat down, you don't have that lost patch on the seat, so I'm glad that's finally removed. Now as for customization, this bike actually has quite a bit. So just getting into the bodywork alone, you can see there's a lot of different categories. So you have the sissy bar, which you could put. If you want, we'll go with the vintage one. You got the front mud guards, which are similar to all the other ones, like on the other bikes. Nothing, nothing's really changed there. Then for the handlebars, you can go with a few different options. Kind of, you can go with the chrome mirror if you want. Here are a few decent options for the seat. You got some vintage looks, and then you got some cruiser looks as well. So not bad there. Oil tanks, kind of like all the other ones. You can paint those or chrome them out, or make them square if you want. Fuel tanks, same stuff as the other bikes. You can sort of see it change in there. The belt drive covers you can see at the bottom are changing. One important note, I would highly recommend putting one of these on because you can see the traction actually goes up a little bit with one of these on. So that will just make your car go a little bit faster. And then shifters, you got all these, but I don't really like these because they take the, uh, the shifters away from your feet, which I kind of like more. As for the engine block, you can go with a few different options, make it chrome, Make it half chrome, make it full chrome, or secondary color. And then air filters, you got a bunch of different options here as well. For the exhaust, you have like six or seven options. You got a lot here. Bunch of different crazy options too. So you got, I like the freaking wrapped short. That's pretty cool. Now livery, this one is up there with the zombie chopper and the zombie bobber in that it has 19. So you got the red flames, you got the blue flames, you got the ghost flames, which actually doesn't look bad. Yeah, basic pinstripes, which I don't know. Oh, I, I guess it's just down the middle there. Then we have the outline pinstripes, which I really like. Nice and simple. Classic pinstripe. Got that same look, but red. Then you got the USA flag, if you so choose. The blue tribal, eh, not bad. Tropical green, mm, again, not bad. And then you got the ornate stripe, pretty good looking one. Stealthy snake, not a bad one. Then we have the major mil spec. This one is the sort of war looking livery 
Then you got the uh, the flamed patina. No idea what that means. Then thin striped patina. What the heck is this? So it's just like rusted down, I guess. I guess it's a rusted down stripe down the middle. Then you got the fat striped one. Okay. And then the patriot. And then the outline. And the classic pinstripe patina. Patina. What does that mean? Let me know in the comments, please. Apart from that, though, you can change all your rims if you want to. And for the respray option, you do have a primary and a secondary. The primary is going to be the main part. And then the secondary, you can see, is changing now. So, you know, not bad in terms of colors. Honestly, it, it'd be hard between this one and either the Zombie Bobber or the Zombie Chopper if you want sort of one of these chopper-style bikes because they have the most customization out of any of the bikes but that is it with all the customization and the prices let me know in the comments if you plan on buying these in addition to these they also included a new adversary mode called slipstream if you want to check that out but i did hear reports that it's it's really bad so i don't know i have not played it yet but a lot of people were tweeting me saying it's not one of the better adversary modes anyway that is it thank you all for watching drop a like if you did enjoy subscribe for more awesome gta content and as always i'll see you guys in the next one